the bread of the soul. My friend, if somebody offered you a way to become more prosperous, healthy, or wise, and they offered it to you without any strings attached, would you accept the offer? I bet you would. With God, the offer is always there. With God, all things are possible. So go ahead and say yes to God. Have you ever done that? Say yes to God today. Say, God, I don't know all the answers, but I say yes to you. God, I don't know the way, but I say yes to you. God, I'm sitting here in all my doubts and in all my disbelief, and I say now yes to you, 100% without anything held back. My friend, are you ready for a miracle? Miracles happen. They can happen in your life too. If the answer is yes, then expect a miracle to come in your life. For God is continually at work, answering your prayers in ways that are right and perfect for you. Now, I've said this before, and maybe you don't remember, maybe you do, but it's important to say it again. The answers to prayer from God are often quite different than we can conceive of in human mind. But I tell you this, my friend, they're always better, always outstanding, always leaving me awestruck on how God has done something, how God has done everything when I have the wisdom to allow God to have God's way. I pray that there is a right and perfect answer to every prayer that you have today. And I know the source. It is God. Are you ready for blessings? I mean real blessings. Blessings that you can't even imagine beyond your wildest imagination. Well, look around you. For God has supplied your every need. Say yes to God's unlimited good. Are you ready for all the love and the encouragement that you could ever possibly need? Well, then say yes to God and be enfolded in the comfort of unconditional love. You know, in Matthew, it says, it's one of my favorite Bible verses. Listen to this with new ears. Take it on. Digest it in your soul. Jesus said, for mortals, it is impossible. But for God, all things are possible. My friend, the bread of your soul is to know and to feed on the idea that you're on the threshold of a breakthrough, a spiritual journey that will take you further along in your growth than you could possibly imagine. This is a journey on which you'll be filled with peace that surpasses anything that you have ever experienced thus far. I pray that right now you will know that living the truth of your divine potential is possible. You're on a journey. A journey of positive thinking, praying, and living. If you ever find yourself falling into the rut of negative thinking, <laughs> and haven't we all, don't break down. Break through. Break through the barriers 
of those old negative thoughts and the less than positive attitude that you might have held for a short time or for a long time. Break through and discover the spiritual being you are on a divine journey. Isaiah 43, 19 says this truth about you. I am about to do a new thing. Now, it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? Oh, you'll perceive it all right. You'll bask in it. You will love your life. And that's what living as a spiritual being is all about. Loving a life that you fully live. God bless you, my friend.